Why six or seven? Are you currently looking to add? No, no. So the one that's out, um, we'll be living together. So everyone else is going away. He will take precedence over everyone else. Oh, you're going to live with this person. Mm -hmm. He was in for what crimes? Were they, were they violent crimes? Yeah. Did he go through any experiences that would cause you to believe that he's not likely to do that again? He'll go back to prison. It's a pattern for him. So you think you'll be with him for a period of time and then he'll go back in? Mm -hmm. And then I'll just resume my prison wife status with him. Why is that okay with you? He's loving my life. Does he love you? In his own little twisted way, as much as he can love me. His soul is dead and his heart is black. That's what he says. But yes, he, he, I'm very special to him. His soul is dead and his heart is black mm -hmm. and you're special to him. Mm -hmm. Are you concerned that he might commit a crime when you're with him? Yes. And I wouldn't exactly say no. I would drive off a cliff with this man. So you're ride or die? Ride or die. What concerns me for you is that. One, it really smacks of codependency. And two, it tells me that you don't value yourself enough or love yourself enough where you would say, hell no, I, you're not going to do that because as you know, certain laws mm -hmm. in certain states for certain crimes, mm -hmm. if a capital crime is committed, mm -hmm. if, if he takes a gun and, and he kills someone during the commission of a crime, and you're even in the car. I'm going to jail for life. Then you go down the same way he does. Nine years ago, he asked me for unconditional love. <laughs> I've given him unconditional love. Uh-huh. And what did he give you? That's what I say. What Headaches. I mean, what, what did you get back? If a man loves a woman, mm -hmm. he would never put her in jeopardy. Correct. I'm aware of that. <clears throat> but... It's different because he's always told me that he'll always keep me out of harm's way, but if you're going, I'm going. We going, like, and that's how I feel. And that's some of the stuff we talked about last night. If you're jumping, I'm jumping. So if he says, okay, uh, I'm tired of living paycheck to paycheck for this crummy nine to five job, we're gonna rob an armored car today, you're loading up and going. I'm going to talk to him, but if we're robbing an armored car, we're robbing an armored car. There's been a lot of research done about why women uh, do get involved with prisoners. Mm -hmm. One is they want to share in the infamy and the intrigue. Second is to become a fellow criminal with this noble bad boy. You know, here I've got this bad boy out there and I'm going to join. I'm going to, I'm going to go with him. Mm -hmm and become part of this, it's gonna be a team. We're gonna be criminals together. Almost always, they've had an abusive father and they define love as abuse. Yeah, not my case. Pardon me? No. Abuse. Yeah. I wouldn't say abuse, but I would say, was he there in the right aspects? Not at all. My dad threw money at me. That's how my dad loved mm -hmm. me. Here, here's a check, go have fun, get out of my house. And the relationship is safe and distant, which mm -hmm. you said. The inmate is romanticized as a mysterious power figure. You know, if you fit one of those things, it's, it's a problem, and you fit three or four of them. Mm 